As many of you know, the Manharo Cup of Linux edition ships with Zame as its menu editor, and some of you had some difficulty understanding its workflow. So I'm going to show you how to use Zame right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's get started. Now, uh, you'll see on my desktop here, I am using uh, the Manharo Cup of Linux Edition, tailored to my needs, of course. And uh, I'm going to uh, cover the menu editor. Now, if I click on that green M here in the upper left corner of the screen, you're going to see I have a nice, compact little menu, which has only what I want in it, and uh, tossed out all the rest. Okay, and when you right-click on your menu, you go into Properties here, and in the Cup of Linux Edition, you will see under Behavior, the Edit Applications points to Zame. I don't have a menu item for that because I can right-click on my menu to access this. So, I'm going to right-click on the menu and go into Edit Applications. All right, now, from here, you can manage... Uh, all of your applications and everything that is set up in the system. For instance, let's say under settings here, you're going to see there's an X by Bluetooth device setup. This is because I clicked the hide button. And here in this section is the categories which it would appear in if it were viewable. So it would be in, under the GTK category the GNOME category, the settings category, and the hardware settings category. So how can we use this to our benefit? Okay, let's go ahead and add a custom item to one of our menus. Now, uh, I'm going to go in here and have a look. You'll see I only have four items in games, so I'm just going to add one item to games. It doesn't matter which. So, what we're going to do is, we are going to, you know, to add an item, you just click this Add Custom Application button, choose a name for it. I'm going to call this Test. All right, you need to fill in all of these as well. So, under Comment, I'm going to put in Test. And uh, for a command, why don't I put in something simple? So I'm going to tell it to open up Thunar for this test. And then we can choose an icon for it. All right. And then it'll take us to user share icons. Uh, let's go into GNOME 16 by 16 here. Uh, places. There you go. And uh, hmm. folder home. PNG will be fine. We'll open that up. All right, and now you will see I have the name, the comment, Thunar, and an icon for it. Okay, and in order for this to show up in a menu, you must add a category. So we're going to select a category for this, and I'm going to select Add, and I'm going to tell it I want to put it in the games. And press OK. All right, and then press Create. Once that's done, it just basically tells you your menu is going to be reloaded. Okay, and then I go into the games directory, and look, there is our icon. Okay, well, let's say I really did not want that. I can actually remove that. So I can go into the game category here. You're going to see there is test here. Okay, and I can not right-click on this at all. Uh, but what I can do is click on game and select delete and it will remove it from the category entirely okay and uh, all I have to do is just press save changes okay and you're gonna see now if I go into the games directory it is gone now let's say I now it's still in here though let's go into other all right, and you're going to see that test is here, all right? But the thing is, it's just not categorized. Now, unfortunately, I cannot delete this, but what I can do is press to hide it. 
Now, obviously, my other category is also hidden. So anything that's in the other category isn't going to be displayed in the menu. So that is what I've opted to do. If I press other here, okay, um, you're going to see that I basically went in here and I just went through and just hid everything in here. So that's what I pretty much have done on this. Now, uh, the thing is, originally, the reason I'm not getting any settings on the categories themselves is because I used to use Menu Libri uh, as my editor. So, I mean, the program isn't perfect, but it does exactly what I need in that. I am able to show and hide uh, applications that I want in the menu. So, you know, uh, this open folder with Thunar item, okay, you're going to see that the uh, that this is hidden here and you would see which categories this falls into. So this is very handy for customizing the menu to your liking. Um, I still haven't figured out how to delete particular items, but this at least allows you to show and hide applications and allow you to easily add applications as I've just demonstrated. And so for those of you who wanted to know how to uh, use Zame, I hope this helped you out. And that's all I have on this for now. Uh, as a reminder, please consider supporting the show hosts who bring you the content you enjoy the most by disabling your ad blockers or shouting some coins. Peace out. Mm -hmm.